Police in Richmond say they stopped a potential school attack before it started. Officers arresting a child who they say had a weapon and a plan to hurt students. Danielle Miskell has more tonight from Richmond. So we've learned that the suspect is a young man and is not a student here at Glen R. Marshall Elementary School. He was spotted by Richmond police officers while on patrol lurking around campus with what they call troubling intentions. At the elementary level, I, I can't think of an instance where we've had something similar to this situation um, in our county. The Richmond Police Department says the juvenile's arrest happened before any students arrived for school. In fact, all the um, evidence that we have at this time was probably very few minutes before contact was made. And we acted as quickly as possible. No firearms were recovered, but the juvenile had a large knife and another unidentified object that could have been used as a weapon. That we had eliminated the threat and no other persons were involved and there was no need to disrupt school. Richmond police and its investigators worked with the school on releasing information to students' parents, starting with the first detail they could confirm, that the juvenile acted alone. We can determine uh, initially uh, this was a sole perpetrator. Uh, they did not conspire with anyone else. The student is in police custody. Uh, we have contacted uh, parents or guardians uh, of the student, and uh, we are working closely uh, with our court system to determine uh, what is the next step. But some parents at the school feel there's still not enough information being shared. Chief Rodney Richardson says there's a reason for that. Well, I know that uh, some of the parents may be upset that some information may not have been given out so quickly. We work together and we decide what we need to do and what's best for the investigation. Sometimes uh, we don't share a lot of information until we can determine for this instance that this person was acting alone because I don't want to give a potential conspirator a heads up in the investigation. The school says they're going to be updating parents as they learn more about this investigation. In the meantime, there is mental health counseling available to any student who needs it after learning of this troubling situation here today. Reporting in Richmond, I'm Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News.